Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. In case you somehow missed it, because it was so quick that could actually be possible, Baron Corbin cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase, I mean contract, following the main event of Tuesday's Smackdown Live. But thanks to a slight John Cena distraction on the ring apron, WWE Champion Jinder Mahal managed to pin Corbin immediately with a schoolboy and retain. Seeing his SummerSlam opponent lose in such a calamitous fashion, Cena laughed his way around the ring and up the ramp. One person, however, wasn't as amused. A John Cena hating fan at ringside. She must be a Corbin fan, or a Damian Sandow fan, or a Rusev fan, or a Bray Wyatt fan, or a JTG from Crime. Or a Wade Barrett fan, or a whole Nexus Faction fan, or a Kenny Dykstra from Spirit Squad fan. Cena addressed this on Twitter proving yes, he could see her. No matter what you do, there will always be hate. You have two choices, hate back or smile and rise above hate. I prefer option two. In response, Corbin pointed out the hypocrisy at the heart of Cena's character. The pseudo-motivational speaker act is trans Transparent. You laughed in my face while ruining the biggest moment of my career. I'm with the girl. But it's precisely Corbin's Twitter account that could be another reason WWE booked him to lose his money in the bank cash-in. Baron has always been rather savage on Twitter, insinuating that he sleeps with his critics' girlfriends or calling people's children ugly. But last week he possibly made a few bad calls. First tweeting that respected wrestling journalist Dave Meltzer had no right to comment on a wrestler's ability because he'd never taken a bump, to which Meltzer replied, think before tweeting, by that logic your boss had no right to judge anyone in wrestling until 1998. And then called WWE fan Mike Gilbert a loser, who replied, when I met Vince during my deployment last year, he didn't think I was a loser, so what makes me a loser? With a picture of him in the military alongside the WWE chairman. Corbin, with WWE's very public support of those in the armed forces, quickly apologised. You have proved me wrong. I don't care for your opinion, but you definitely have done important and great things. My bad. Following Corbin's cash-in fail, Meltzer revealed on Twitter, Believe me, the military card did him no favours. And now Brian Alvarez on Wrestling Observer Live has reported, Baron Corbin's got a lot of heat. Ton of heat on the guy. There was a lot of heat on him last week. He was on Twitter, there was obviously the thing that happened with Dave, but it wasn't just with Dave. He'd gone on a Twitter rant with a lot of different people. Apparently he blocked WWE guys on Twitter or something crazy. Alvarez notes he doesn't know if Baron's Twitter activity and subsequent heat played into his money in the bank loss. But given yesterday's rumours behind the decision that WWE had lost faith in Corbin's main event push, it probably didn't help. Did Corbin have the worst cash-in ever? Luke and I review his failed attempt in the brand new Wrestle Ramble. And remember the time John Cena beat up the guy from The Hangover? Click the videos to the left to learn more, press subscribe, and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was Wrestling.